Monitoring your rainwater is now made easier as you can track your rainwater level from inside your home or whilst outside, you can easily see at a glance. This allows for sensible water-wise gardening while still conserving your precious supply. Research shows that when people see how much water they are using, they use less and this change of behaviour is sustained over time. The Rainwater Harvesting Wireless Tank Gauge is suitable for all vented tanks up to 3 metres tall. The receiver can be located up to 100 metres away from your transmitter. For installation, please read the manual in its entirety to fully enjoy the benefits and features of this product. Please keep the manual for future reference. In your pack will be a transmitter, a receiver, solid float, two screws. You'll need four AAA batteries. Tools required, power drill, spade bit or hole saw in 35 millimeters, star or Phillips head screwdriver or drill bit. Creating a hole for transmitter float. Step one, select an installation site on the top of your tank for the transmitter and mark it. Although not necessary, it is preferable that this is a flat area and that once installed will allow you to view the tank gauge face easily. Step two, using a power drill fitted with a 35 mm spade bit or hole saw, create a 35 mm hole in the tank at the marked location. Wireless tank gauge setup. Step one, carefully remove the front clear cover and rear cover from the transmitter with the edge of a screwdriver or five cent piece to enable access to the movable empty and full indicators and the LCD screen and buttons. Step two, remove the battery cover from the receiver and insert two of the AAA batteries. After insertion of batteries into the receiver, an antenna icon will be flashing and dashes will be displayed across the screen. Step three, remove the battery cover on the transmitter and insert two AAA batteries. After insertion of batteries, the LCD screen lights up and an antenna icon flashes once, indicating a signal has been sent to the receiver and the default display is alternating between 100% and 3000 litres. Step four, wait three minutes for the transmitter and receiver to automatically finish synchronising. Do not press any buttons or move the float during this time. Tank volume setting. Step one, press the set button twice on the transmitter to navigate to the volume menu so that 3000 litres is showing on the LCD display. And then hold the set button for four seconds to enter the volume setting mode. The LCD screen will be displaying set, litres and all text flashing. Step two. Adjust the volume value with the plus or minus buttons to match your own tank volume and press set once to confirm. Holding down the plus or minus button will increase the rate the volume changes. Note, if you cannot program the exact volume of your tank, then input the volume to the nearest 500 litres. Tank height setting. Two people are recommended for this part of the setup. Note, ensure that the float does not move faster than 10 centimetres per second at any point during setup, or you may incur inaccuracies in readings. Step one, press set three times on the transmitter to navigate to the height menu, and then hold the set button for four seconds to enter into the height setting mode. The LCD will be flashing full, indicating for you to set this first. Step two, Whilst holding the base of the transmitter at the same height as the previously drilled installation hole, slowly lower the float no faster than 10 centimetres per second until the top of the float is level to the bottom of the overflow outlet and press set once to confirm full height. Move the green full indicator to where the black water level indicator is pointing. If the overflow outlet is not near the installation site, you can measure down from a known common point on the tank and mark it for easy install. The LCD is now showing empty, indicating it should be set now. Step three, whilst maintaining the same height of the transmitter body, slowly lower the float until the top of the float is level with the bottom of the pump outlet and press set once to confirm empty height. Move the red empty indicator to where the black water level is pointing. Step four, slowly retract the string to 90% level. Pinch the string with your finger against the transmitter body to prevent the string retracting any further. Step five, 
Bring the transmitter and float up to the installation hole and slowly lower the float through the installation hole until it rests in the water and position the transmitter body in the installation hole. Pairing the wireless tank gauge. Step one, hold the plus button for four seconds on the receiver and ensure the antenna icon is flashing and the screen is displaying dashes. Step two, press the plus button once on the transmitter to manually transmit a signal and confirm the signal was received by ensuring information is the same on both transmitter and receiver. Step three, replace the rear cover and the front clear cover on the transmitter. Securing the transmitter to the tank. Position the transmitter so that the full and empty indicating arrows are easily visible from the ground and using the supplied screws, secure the transmitter to the top of the tank. Placement of the receiver. Place the receiver indoors in a dry area free of dirt and dust. The wireless tank gauge has a clear line of sight signal range of 100 meters. When obstacles are placed between the transmitter and receiver, the range will reduce. For further information or troubleshooting, please refer to your instruction manual or visit www.rainharvesting.com.au.